Hello viewers, welcome again to my YouTube channel Inside Geography. Uh, today the topic you have been watching on your screen, it's about the five themes of geography. This particular topic is one of the fundamentals of geography, it means the basics of geography. So the students who have been learning in colleges, even in the schools and the university, who are the beginners, you know, they will have to come across such such topics. So, uh, five theme, themes of geography is very popular uh, uh, popular topic. Uh, it has been said that these five themes are the integral part of geography. So the whole geography revolves around these five themes. That why that's why it has been said these five themes are very important for the student to learn and keep in mind if they want to understand and learn geography in most effective way. So without wasting our time, let's go to the details of uh, these five themes. Uh, the popular, these five themes of geography are defined by the National Council for Geographic Education and the Association of American Geographers to facilitate and organize the teaching of geography as a discipline from kindergarten to all level classroom. Uh, actually, this, uh, uh, these uh, themes of geography, they were set or defined or determined by the National Council of Geographic Education Association of American Geographer to facilitate the uh, geography as a discipline, as a subject in, in a classroom. So, this ye, ye topic hai particularly, ye jo themes hai, ye, uh, National jo Council of Geographic Education and Association American ki, ki thi, ke how to make the geography an in, in effective, effective discipline or how to you know, impart the learning of geography in a better and easy way. So, us sawale se unhone ye themes banaye the, and these themes are still being effective. They are still being, you know, taught in the different levels of the classes or subjects. So, the network of five themes help students to understand the basic concept of geography and main environment coexistence in an effective and easy way to comprehend, determine the relationship with it. So, ye jo paanch, uh, themes hai, uh, they help they help the student to understand actually the what type of relation man and environment has and it also help to understand the geography not only the geography is a subject it also help understand the relationship we have within not only with the human beings and also with the with the natural environment or the physiography or physical environment so uh, these five themes of geography are location uh, place uh, human environment interaction, movements, and the region. So we will go one by one and we will see what does it mean. So number one is the location. And now location uh, is the first step in understanding an aspect of earth by providing reference to identify a particular place on the earth. So most geographic studies begin by learning the location of Places. So location is very, very important for the geographer because it has been said that the geography start from determining or understanding the locations. So this is the first step towards learning of the geography. So location is very important hoti hai and everyone has been more excited about to know the places where they are being standing or being existing. So there are two types of location. Location can be absolute or the relative. Absolute location describe the location of an area based on the coordinate system like latitudes and longitude or the postal address. Having a place absolute location allows us to determine the location from anywhere regardless the surrounding of area. So there are two types of location. One is absolute location and is a relative location. Absolute location, or uh, you can say accurate location. This location has been determined or been found with the help of lines of longitudes and latitudes. You, you, you better know about these longitudes and latitudes. We had also a lecture on that. So if you haven't watched that lecture, you can watch that lecture again to understand this one. So these li uh, lines of longitudes and latitude, these are imaginary lines which, which, which surrounds uh, which surround the whole globe or you can say earth and with the help of these latitude longitudes the location of a place which is called accurate location is being determined. Uske through hum kisi bhi jagah ki accurate location 
देख सकते हैं नॉट ओनली द लोकेशन बट वी ऑल्सो कैन फाइंड द टाइम of date place so longitudes and latitudes are very important so absolute location is been uh, you know found with the help of longitude latitude i told you it's so north or the east or the west this so is not only showing the you know the direction but at the same time the exact location in the in the in in, in the form of figure so you can see there are lots of digits here five 52.5 or 32 so this is a location and this is the postal letter so so absolute location is very important then we have a relative location relative location is another form of determining the location of any any place so relative location describe the location of area based in its connection to other places like landmarks knowing a place relative location allows it to be located easily once its relative area is known ab absolute location ne humne kya kiya tha waha you have a figure you have a digit so you can easily found with the help of longitude relative location mein kya hota hai you don't have a, a you know exact or accurate location but you determine that place with the with the reference of place which is being near to it which is surrounding that तो आप कैसे समझते हो कि जो ऐसी जगह जिसको आप ढूंढना चाहते हो या समझना चाहते हो या उसको लोकेट करना चाहते हो तो यू विल फाइंड और यू विल सी द सराउंडिंग एरिया द सराउंडिंग लैंडमार्क्स कि उसके करीब या उसके सराउंडिंग में कोई ऐसी पॉपुलर जगह कोई ऐसा लैंडमार्क हो जिसके थ्रू आप उस जगह को पहुंच सकते हो यूजली वी ऑल्सो बी इन लाइक वेन वी गो टू एनी 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 मार्केट और समवेयर एनी एनी प्लेस और एनी टाउन Uh, we don't know the coordinate system, so we uh, we ask somebody where that place is there. So if somebody is telling you that place is there. So first and foremost, uh, the place which is unknown to you, and the, somebody is telling you, he or she will let it let it you let it know that popular place of that place, popular building or popular thing or popular landmark of that place. For example, if you are going to market, me, jaray, koi aap se puch. आप किसी को पूछ रहे हैं कि भाई मुझे इस जगह पे जाना है इस घर जाना है तो वो आपको बताएगा कि वहां पे एक मस्जिद है वहां पे एक मंदिर है वहां पे एक चर्च है या वहां पे एक स्कूल है कोई 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 एक शॉप है जो बहुत पॉपुलर तो वो बताएगा उसके करीब है या उसके इस तरफ है या उस तरफ है सो दिस इज कॉल दी रिलेटिव लोकेशन सो in the relative location also been uh, you know uh, very popular it's been also been used but uh, so it's but it is nothing to do with the uh, coordinate system number second is the place uh, place describe the human and physical characteristics of location so if you have a location you will, in a place you will see is both is physical and the human characteristics so what are these physical characters so physical characters include mountains rivers beach topography climate animals plant life of that place the place is described as hot sandy fertile or forested etc so whenever you have been uh, in any place you will see its physical characteristics you will see whether the roads the physical land forms like mountains river or there is a forest or even there is another uh, there are other buildings there and at the same time you will also be in, uh, you know very much interested to know about its climatic condition uh, its soil condition ki wo sandy hai is a fertile hai or there is a hot or you know mild wind mild climate so whatever the so physical characters been determined by its topography climate and the plants and animal characteristics so number second is the human characters in human characters includes the human design cultural features of place these features include land use architecture style form of livelihood religious practices political system common foods local folklore means of transportation and methods of communication so these all are the human characters so where you see the different you know form of architecture the way the you know the build, buildings or houses being constructed you also see the architecture of their place you also see the way the people are living there and what in what way they are been earning money or they are been maintaining their life what are their professions what are their beliefs wo kis cheez mein yakeen rakhte hain because people have a different religions you know and what type of language they are been uh, you know been speaking there so these are the different you know uh, human characteristics of their place not only you also been seeing the you know the food culture the transportation so in a place you see both physical characteristic and the human characteristics now number third is the human environment interaction this is very important this theme is very important uh if even if you remember that uh, 
in the definition of geography, one of the definition of geography is being related or being taken uh, with the reference of human environment interaction. So the third theme, human environment inter interaction illustrates how humans adapt and change their environment to fulfill their needs. Uh, so here you see the what type of relation we have with the environment which is in our surrounding. So whether it's a physical environment or the human, uh, human environment. So we see uh, whether the man is powerful or man, or man is weak or whether man is being adopting those things which are which is which is uh, which is in his surrounding or man is being changing his surrounding so this is some sort of relation we are being determined so practices such as irrigation farming and damming and mining deforestation and construction uh, other human action that impact the physical features of an area are all in, uh, in instances of human environment interaction. So, what do you see here? How is our environment with relation? Are we weak or dominant? Are we weak? Or are we relation with relation? Whether we have a peaceful coexistence, because the environment we always is being dominant on the man, uh, and it also affects not only the profession, its lifestyle, its earning, but also health, and also its beliefs. In the same time, man is also with the, with the help of technology, with his skills, with his mental capability, also been changing the changing his surrounding, his physical environment. So, uh, the early cultures tended to settle along rivers or on the deltas or surrounding to the fertile land. So, if you look at the even the settlement pattern, so people adopt uh, their settlements pattern or be living there where there is a environment suits them. So, जहाँ जैसी environment है जो उसको suit करती है वैसा जहाँ पे पानी है तो वैसा profession अपनाएंगे जहाँ पे forest है जहाँ पे barren land है जहाँ पे desert area है so people have a lifestyle similar or being peaceful or being coexistence with the with that environment so abhi bhi aap dekh sakte hain jahan jahan log rakhte hain people are living in mountain its area their professions their and their mindset and living style is quite different the people are living in urban areas in the cities are people are living in the desert areas the people are living in deltic areas so Human activities, environment like environment, we have water, air, soil, and minerals, and human activity like industry, transport, agriculture, reaction, uh, recreation, services. So these all combined together make a uh, make a scene or make a relationship between main environment. So in absence of roads and irrigation, waterways provide a fast, easy means of transportation and a steady supply of food. Look at the settlement patterns been changing with the time. So in the in the early time in the past. Uh, you know the people uh, prefer to live closer to the water areas, uh, closer to the where where they had a fertile land, so they can have a easily maintain their life. But now look at due to the you know strong uh, transport network, people even they are been living far 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 flung areas so away from the main population area. So it depends. So the, this this uh, uh, relation is very important to understand not only to understand but also be. Uh, be uh, be peaceful. So otherwise, we are being at, at you know at overheads. If we are being not in a in a peaceful mood, we are always being uh, having a problems. Number four theme is the migration and the movement. So human define movements. Uh, humans define movements and migration is where people travel from place to place, circulate information, trade goods and services and share ideas so here we not only talking about the migration movements of the people from one place to another flag from one country to another continent from within the country or national or international but it's also the circulation of information or the trade trade and services so look at the circulation of information you know so even if i've been you know giving a lecture or discussing on something on any topic you know there is a any person who can watch me who's been living in america who's been living in uk or in any african country on south south america so this is the circulation of information they can watch me uh, and look at the revolution of uh, internet you know so we, people have access to all the information there are lots of news every day has been coming on through the radio through the television through internet through youtube so not only the People are being migrating from one place to another place, but at the same time, the trade and services and goods are also being, things are also being transported from one place to another place. And at the same time, ideas are being shared. Look at the people have a different mindset. People have a certain ideologies to form. 
these ideologies have nothing to do with the borders. So people like, you know, they believe in different political system, communism, capitalism, you know, democratism, democracy, you know, so, or you can say theology, so, or the kingship. So there are different ideas and ideologies. So even the people who are being in Pakistan or India, they can collaborate with people who are living in America or in Africa, but they have a similar ideology. So these ideologies also been transported or transmitted or moved from one region to another region. So you can see the network of the, uh, you know, these movements and the migration. Number five, number five is the region. So regions divide the world into manageable units for geographical study. So for the purpose of understanding of the world, we have divided the regions into different, uh, different, uh, what is it, classes. So to manage, to understand them. So regions have some, some sort of characteristic that unifies the area and can be formal, functional, and vertical. So, but these regions are being divided on the basis of their different characters. Some regions which are being called the formal regions, some regions are being called the functional regions, some are being called the ver vernacular regions. So, uh, like a formal region, these are uh, designed by the official boundaries such as cities, states, counties, countries, for the most part, they are clearly indicated and publicly known. So formal regions are those regions which are being demarcated through the lines, uh, through the borders, which are official borders, and they are being easily drawn on the, on the maps. So the functional region, there are certain regions which are being known or popular on the basis of their functions, because they are being popular in terms of sports, tourism, religion, uh, trade, politics. So they have a connection with the rest of the world. So, and the vertical region, these include perceived regions such as the South, the Middle East, the, uh, you know, the Near East, the Far East, you know, so because these regions, they, they don't have a certain borders or the line, but we perceive by our own because by looking at their culture or any other influential factor, agriculture, climate, or physiology, which make it different from other regions. So we, can, we have divided the different, like the Middle East, Middle East, Southeast Asia, South Asia. So these are the different region bases on their uh, some, some sort of similar component. So there were no formal boundaries, but are understood in a mental maps of the world. So that was about the region. So this whole discussion was about the themes of geography as i told you it was very important for the uh, for the for the student to understand these region because the, the, these uh, themes because the geography is being revolving around these regions so thank you very much for the watching if you like my videos please please share like and subscribe them for more videos so till then thank you so much and take care of yourself